What's up guys, Siobhan here coming at you with another awesome video and today I'll be showing you something that's very interesting when it comes on to data files, especially sensitive data and having an iOS device might sometimes require to back up your data manually if you want to go to the extra mile to make sure that it won't get corrupted. In this case, you could use iMyPhone Dport to export data from your iOS device, iTunes backup or iCloud backup, depending on your needs. So this basically means that you could perform a manual backup of your files by extracting files from whichever location you find more accessible. So enough of the chitter chatter, now let's look at the program and what it has to offer to you. So yes guys, once you have the program open, you can see that we have three options to choose from each perform a different task. You can also jump onto their website to find out more information and see what a program can do, but I'll leave that to you guys. Let me just jump back on to the program. So here you can see that I selected a device, I scanned it, and now I'm just choosing what I would need to export. So you could choose whatever you want. You could select all or manually go through the stuff that you want to be exported. So once you've done that guys, you just need to hit next and then you'll analyze the device and it will take some time as you can see it took me around 25 minutes to get everything done but I'll just fast forward. Now you can see all the subcategories of the content but it's blurred out because it's personal information but anyways it shows an animation of everything that's going on then it will create folders onto your desktop. Now that's very very cool and the way how it does it is just so simple it gets everything done for you and also you could extract from your itunes backup so this only works if you had a previous itunes backup and you could choose from each backup that you want to extract once that's done everything will be cool now you could also extract from a icloud backup and obviously you need to sign into that icloud account and everything as i said before you could jump onto your website for more information on how to do these things if it wasn't clear in this video also hopefully i'll leave some links down below in the description of discount code so you guys could go ahead and try out these programs so if you enjoyed the video drop a like down below and always love peace and tweaks signing out Whoa.